Good morning students. It's time to do maths and today's topic is addition. We started with addition yesterday also but we did with the places ones and tens only and today I will make you learn addition till the places hundreds till hundreds. So we will be doing few sums and will explain you how to do them okay as i have written here the places ones tens hundreds can you recall them ones tens hundreds so here i have written few statements you need to understand when this is the sum of carry or this is the sum of without carry right one more thing i told you in the previous class that how do we add the digits we keep the bigger number in mind and the smaller number. For the smaller number, there are two ways. Either you can raise your finger up or you can count in the blocks. I told you that we do have three blocks in our finger and it's better to count in blocks now as you are grown up. So for the first one, we always start doing addition sums from the ones place. It's not about addition only, even in subtraction, in multiplication also, we always start solving the sum from the ones place. So let's see here at the ones place which digits are written 1 and 5. Out of these two, 1 and 5, which is greater 5. So we will keep 5 in mind and for this one, either you can take one finger up or you can count in block. So if we keep 5 in mind, and one finger up, what we need to do is we will start counting forward from 5. So after 5, what comes next is 6. What comes next is 6. So we will write here 6. Okay, now we will move further. We are moving from right to left. Okay, now we take the place of 10s. What two digits are written here? 2 and 4. 2 and 4 which is greater 4. We will keep in mind the greater number 4 and for this 2 I can take 2 fingers up or I can count these 2 in these 2 blocks only. Okay. So I have kept 4 in my mind and after 4 I need to move further 2 times. So after 4 comes 5 and after 5 comes 6. After 4 comes 5. And after 5 comes 6. So that means I am adding 2 by counting the 2 blocks in my finger. Which finger I am using most times? Index finger. Okay. So 4 in the mind and 2 fingers can be up. Or we are counting in blocks. Whatever suits you. So when we keep 4 in mind. And we are counting it two numbers forward. That means two blocks forward. So keeping four in mind which will be the next number five. And after five which is the next number six. So we will write at tens place also six. Now let's move to hundred place. The two digits which are written here are two, three. So we will keep three in mind. Three being the greater number. I am keeping three in my mind. And after 3, I need to count 2 blocks forward. So after 3, what comes the next number? 4. And after 4, what comes the next number? 5. So what we will write at 100 places? 5. Let's take another one. This is the statement I have written. At 1's place, we will start. 8, 0. Which number is greater? 8, we will keep in mind. But 0 means nothing. So, nothing to be added. In that case, when nothing is added, we will get the same number. So, here I will get 8 only. Now, moving to the tens place, 1 and 5. Which is bigger number? 5. So, we will keep what number in mind? 5. And we need to move 1 time forward. After 5, what comes next is 6. So, we will write 6 here. After 5... What comes next? 6. Now at 100 place the digits are 6 and 2. What we are going to keep in mind students? Which is the bigger number? 6. So I will keep in mind 6 and 2. We will be adding 2 blocks after 6. So what comes after 6 is 7. And after 7 what comes next is 8. Next is 8. 
So we will write this. Let's move further. Here I have written at one's place 9 and 2. So what we are going to keep in mind is 9. 9 being the greater number. So I have kept 9 in my mind. And after 9 again I am going to move 2 times further. So what comes after 9 is 10. And after 10 it is 11. This time the answer is 2 digit number. But we can write only 1 digit here. So what I am going to do is. 11, I will write 1 here and 1 will be carried over. That carried will be from 1's place to 10's place. Now what we are going to keep in mind is 6. And after 6, we will add 1 and 1 this also. So that means in total we need to add 2. 2 blocks in 6. So after 6, 7 and then 8. Either blocks or you can count on fingers also. So let's move further. Now there is no carried over. So we will do it simply at 100 place. What we need to keep in mind is 4. 4 being greater than 3 we will keep mind in greater number 4. And how many times we need to move further this time is 3. So as I told you we do have 3 blocks in one finger. So I will be taking one finger here. After 4, I need to move in 3 blocks. 5, 6, 7. Again, I am telling 5, 6 and 7 because I have 3 blocks in my finger. So, my answer is 7. Hope you are finding it easy. So, let's move to the further. Next one is the digits written at the 1's place are 5 and 3. So, what we are going to keep in mind is 5 and blocks 3. So after 5, 6, 7, 8. So we are getting 8 at 1's place. No carried over this time. We do not have any carry at 10's place. Now 6 and 7. Which is greater? 7. So we will keep in mind 7. And this time we are going to add 6 blocks. We do have 3 blocks in one finger. So we need to take 2 fingers this time. We need to take two fingers this time or you can directly raise your six fingers to add in seven. So after seven we will move forward eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Three fingers in each block. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So again thirteen is of two digits. I will write three here and one will be carried over. This time when we are having two digits in tens place, so the carried over will go at the hundred place. We are moving from rightmost to left side. So when we are having two digits at tens place, we are writing one digit here and one is carried over at hundred place. Now what uh, digits are written here? Five and one. So I will keep five in mind and one block for this and one block for this carried over one. So, after 5, I need to move further. 6 and 7. So, my answer is 7. So, this way we can do the sums of addition till the place is hundreds. I have told you the four examples in which the one was without carryover. One was including the zero. Another two were of carried over. But in this one, carryover was in one's place. So we carried over the number to tens place and here at tens place we were getting two digits. Carried over is at hundred place here. So hope you are clear with the concept. What you need to do is you need to practice such few five sums and send me the pics. See you then.